Hi there, AXE students. I'm Francho Engelbrecht of the CSIR Natural Resources and the Environment, located here in Pretoria, South Africa. My research also forms part of AXES, and specifically AXES Thematic Area 7, which is about the, the development of climate models, atmospheric processes, and quite a few other things. So I therefore, of course, was very interested to listen to the lecture on air and light, presented by the Bukhang Maruma. I thought it was a very good lecture. It was well structured. It's a very logical flow of information and slides. So many congratulations on this very, very good lecture, Le Bochon. I can provide a little bit of advice for you, Le Bochon, to perhaps enhance the content of the lecture. I think right at the beginning, you've spoken about the vertical structure of the atmosphere. And I think you should put a little bit more emphasis on the ozone layer, which is, of course, found within the stratosphere which, as you've mentioned, I think, stretches from about 10 kilometers above the surface to about 50 kilometers above the surface of the planet. And the ozone layer sits between 20 and 30 kilometers, as I think many of you know, that's where we find most of the ozone, or the highest concentration in ozone molecules. The ozone layer is very, very important in making the planet habitable, because, as I think many of you know, it absorbs very large quantities of the very harmful ultraviolet radiation that would otherwise have reached us here at the surface of Earth. Otherwise, I think the lecture put a fair amount of emphasis on the, on the greenhouse effect, which I think is very important. As Lebo Khan has mentioned, the greenhouse effect makes life as we know it possible on the planet. Without these gases in the atmosphere, the average temperature at the surface of the Earth would have been in the order of minus 18 degrees Celsius instead of the very pleasant plus 15 degrees Celsius we are experiencing in our present day climate. Don't be confused between the greenhouse effect and the enhanced greenhouse effect. The latter is the big environmental problem that we are facing today. I think, as many of you know, the concentration of certain greenhouse gases are increasing in the atmosphere. Specifically, the concentration of carbon dioxide is increasing. And that is enhancing the atmosphere's ability to absorb heat. To that we refer to as the enhanced greenhouse effect. And that leads directly to the problem of global warming. But I'm not going to say much more about this today. Because I'm sure that Axis will deal with this huge environmental problem in, in depth in the future lectures presented as part of this course. I think the only other advice I have for Le Bochon is to perhaps make use of this lecture to also spend a little bit of time on explaining to your audience the concept of atmospheric lapse rates. You have mentioned that in the troposphere temperatures are usually decreasing of height, which is of course correct. But it's also interesting to explain why the environmental lapse rate is so much less in the tropics than it is in the higher latitudes. That, of course, has something to do with the presence of much larger quantities of moisture in the tropics. And it, it also relates to the process of latent heat release when water vapor condensates while it is rising in these very big convective air currents that we are finding so often in the tropics. And then I think you can also explain the very special case of lapse rates in the troposphere, the case when temperature is actually increasing with height. That's the so-called inversion layer that we usually find close to the surface of the planet. Um, but it can also occur at, at greater heights. And perhaps you can also speak a little bit about a tropopause, where temperature starts to remain constant with height. And the, tropopo the tropopause forms the boundary between the troposphere and the stratosphere above it. So let me conclude Le Bochong by congratulating you again on a very good lecture, and I think this is certainly a lecture that will be of value to the AXI students in order to understand the basic vertical structure of the atmosphere and what we mean with air when we speak about um, air in the atmosphere and also when we speak about light 
in the atmosphere. Thank you very much and hope to meet you and some of your colleagues um, through Access Research. Perhaps we will meet towards the end of the year in Fort Elizabeth during the Access Special Session at the big global change conference. Hope to see you there. Goodbye.